at the shop today. I went to grab my Starbucks coffee before coming over to the shop this morning and that made me a little bit late. So I opened the shop a few, maybe 15 minutes after 11. I usually open at 11 and there was customers outside waiting for me. I hate to have people waiting on the days that I literally don't open late. Like I'm always here on time, but today was one of those days and I just gave myself the uh, permission to say, you know what, let's go get some coffee before we head to the shop. So I did that and uh, thankfully my customers were waiting and I was able to open the shop and they got what they needed and then, then they were on their way. This week has been a bit tough. Uh, I've been hard at work in the workshop, restocking a lot of items, which you're gonna, about to see in a minute, but I've also been dealing with some health issues. So it's it's been a tough week. Yesterday, uh, Thursday is a day that I usually open the shop, but I just was not feeling up to it. Um, I was just, my body was not responding and I just needed to take the time to rest, which I did. Um, I don't have employees yet that I can rely on during the week. Um, they're just not available, um, but I do have people, uh, including my girls, um, that help me during the weekend. Um, but yesterday I was not able to open the shop. so. Now we are open. My door is open today because it's a beautiful day. The sun is out, it's fresh. So we are getting ready to label some lotions that I made. I finally restocked a few of my lotions, which are my best sellers, blush, cashmere. And I also made a new lotion um, that I will be sharing soon. I have some body oils to label, and then we're gonna box up and label some soap because we are running low on our shelves. So we have quite a number of things today to do today. I just wanted to bring you along uh, behind the scenes to check out what is happening. We are here, we are open, and we're ready to get our day started. So come along with us and check it out. So we finished with the lotions and if you see they're all up here on the shelf and I am content with that for now. I'm probably going to be moving things around so I am still labeling. Uh, now I am going to move on to the oils which are here now 
and they're looking pretty empty. This whole section here is usually filled with oils. So I did restock, so we're gonna go ahead and label that, and then we're gonna put them on the shelf. Okay guys, so I finished labeling some of the oils, and now the shelf looks a lot better. Okay, so I ran out of space on the SD card on my camera, so I wasn't able to um, film myself, but I actually redid the shelf. So let me just show you that real quick. So this top shelf is where all the lotions were and it, it was just too crowded for my taste. So I just did a little display. And then uh, this is still, this is the same. And what I did was I moved the, the little displays I had and I put them up here. So this is where the Aviva facial oils are gonna go and then I did the lotions on this shelf and the body creams right here as well so that is that and I moved the headbands down here and I still need to find a spot for the little crocheted loofahs but I think that looks good so let's keep going okay so this is a restock of Aviva facial oil it is an amazing oil and it's constantly selling out so we are going to label those and I am going to show you the labels for those I recently redesigned the labels for Aviva and I am going to look into possibly doing a a box for those um, I'm still not 100% sold on that but that is something that I am looking into so I need to cut these out first um, I need to cut them and then we're gonna put them onto our Aviva facial oils Not find my glasses I don't know what I did with them and I did step away for a little bit and I went to the restroom I don't know maybe that's what I that's where I left them I don't know but um, I don't have time to go looking for them now I just hope that these labels don't come out too crooked I think I can still see enough to get these labels put on right but look at how cute our new label is I love it that's a new little design with a little bit of squiggly, squiggly lines. And I am going to do that to the rest of our labeling. But for now, only the Aviva has gotten the glow up on the labels. We'll continue labeling these and then we'll move on to the body oils and place them on the shelf as well. So. 
close it's about 5 20 I usually close at 5 but I had a lot of things to do so I just kept my doors open people kept coming in it was a great day we had a uh, great foot traffic today and hopefully it will continue to be like this for the rest of the weekend so yeah we're gonna close up the shop we're gonna uh, end this video for today guys bye mm -hmm.